Let's take up the next question. In an X double slit experiment, the slits are separated by 0.5 millimeter and screen is placed one meter away. It is found that the ninth bright fringe is at a distance of 8.5 millimeter from the second dark fringe. Find the wavelength of the light used. Now let's write down the data. The slits are separated by that a small d is given to be 0.5 millimeter which can also be written as 5 into 10 power minus 4 meter. The screen is placed at a distance of 1 meter and some distance is given it is the gap between or the distance between ninth bright fringe and second dark fringe. Let me now write it as simply x which is given by 8.5 millimeter. Let's find what is x later. Find the wavelength of the light used. Now we'll have to take uh, the idea of the diagram here. When I consider the screen, if this is the midpoint of the screen and this is the second dark which is mentioned here, let me say D2 is the second dark and ninth bright is formed at some distance. Let me say that this is the ninth bright and the gap between this second dark and ninth bright is given and that is X. We are first supposed to find out this distance x and we'll substitute in the required equation later. Now let's find out what is x. The distance of second dark, this distance, let me call this distance as x1 and the distance of ninth bright, let me call the distance of ninth bright as x2 and as you can see from the figure, x is nothing but x2 minus x1. Now let's go to dark fringe first. The distance of nth dark is nth dark fringe from the center is xn is equal to 2n minus 1 into lambda d divided by 2d. Since for the second dark I have n is equal to 2 Therefore, the distance of second dark is, I have called it as 1x1, therefore in place of n I will write 2. So, this is 4 minus 1, 3 lambda d divided by 2d. Similarly, for nth bright, the distance of nth bright is given by, the distance of nth bright is given by, xn is equal to n lambda d by d. So, for ninth bright, the distance of bright is taken to be x2, this is 9 lambda d by d. Now, I got x1 and I got x2, the difference between these two is called as x. Therefore, x is equal to, since it is x2 minus x1, 9 lambda d divided by d minus 3 lambda d divided by 2d. So, 2d being the LCM, 18 lambda d minus 3 lambda d, x is equal to 15 lambda d by 2d. This is given to be 8.5 into 10 power minus 3. Now, using this expression, you can get an expression for lambda that is wavelength which is 8.5 into 10 power minus 3 into 2 into small d is given to be 5 into 10 power minus 4 divided by 15 into d, 15 into d is 1 meter. I think you can simplify like this, 5 gets cancelled with this 15 3 times and in the numerator I am left with 17, 8.5 into 2 is 17, so 17 divided by 3 into 10 power minus 7 is the required wavelength. This can be simplified as 17 by 3 is nothing but 5.666 into 
10 power minus 7 meter which can be simplified as lambda is equal to 5666 or 67 angstrom is the required wavelength. Now let's work out an important and interesting question. A beam of light consisting of two wavelengths 650 nanometer and 520 nanometer is used to obtain interference fringes in Young's double slit experiment. What is the least distance from the central maximum where the bright fringes due to both the waves coincide? Distance of the screen from the slits is 1.2 meter and distance between the slits is 2 millimeter. Let me write down the data first. Distance of the screen is 1.2 meter and distance between the slits is 2 millimeter. And there are two wavelengths used. Their wavelengths are given by lambda 1 is equal to 650 nanometer and lambda 2 is equal to 520 nanometer. Now, when you use two different wavelengths in the same Young's double slit experiment, obviously at the center of the screen, you should obtain a bright fringe due to both the wavelengths. Or in other words, at the center of the screen, you should get the brights of two different colors for two different wavelengths. Let me write down the screen first. If this is supposed to be the center of the screen, here, the wavelengths for two different wavelengths, the bright fringes do coincide. Here, I'll call the point as O, which is the center of the screen. And apart from O, there is another point on the screen where the two fringes, the two bright fringes due to two different wavelengths coincide. Let that point be somewhere here. I'll call the point as P. And we are supposed to find out the gap between O and P that is X is the distance between O and P. I repeat at O which is the center of the screen the bright fringes due to both the wavelengths coincide and apart from O P is another point on the screen where the bright fringes due to both the wavelengths coincide and you should know that it is not only point P where the two bright fringes due to two wavelengths coincide. In addition to point P, you have some other points on the screen such as Q, R, so on, on the screen where the two bright fringes may coincide. But in the question it is asked clearly, the least distance, for the least distance, I should calculate the gap between O and P only. I need not consider Q, R, S, so on. Okay. We need to make use of the idea of the distance of bright fringe from the center. The distance of nth bright fringe from the center is given by xn for a bright fringe is given by n lambda d divided by d. For two different wavelengths, I can write x1 as n1 lambda1 d by d and for x2, n2, lambda2, d by d. Don't be confused, x1 and x2 are same. I have given different symbols to say that they are for different wavelengths. Now, since the distances are same, which means the two bright fringes coincide, I should write x1 is equal to x2. That is, the brights due to both the bright fringes, due to both the wavelengths coincide, which means I should equate n1 lambda 1 d by d and n2 lambda 2 d by d. I have maintained a capital D and small d same in both the cases since it is clearly mentioned that these two quantities are unaltered. So you can cancel these d's and you are left with a very important result that is n1 lambda 1 is equal to n2 lambda 2. So I suggest students to remember this expression when two bright fringes, when 
two bright fringes due to two different wavelengths coincide, you can directly make use of this expression n1 lambda 1 is equal to n2 lambda 2. Now let me substitute the values to find out what are those n1 and n2s. n1 by n2 is equal to lambda 2 by lambda 1 which is 520 nanometer divided by 650 nanometer. On simplification n1 by n2 comes out to be 4 divided by 5. So the ratio of n1 to n2 is 4 divided by 5. For the least possible values of n1 and n2 I can write n1 as 4 and n2 as 5 which means that the fourth bright fringe due to first wavelength that is 650 nanometer coincides with fifth bright fringe due to 520 nanometer. So fourth bright coincides with fifth bright. Of course, fourth bright is for lambda 1 and fifth bright of lambda 2. Now, we are supposed to find out the distance of O to P that is expressed either by x1 or by x2. Let me take the x1 expression which is n1 lambda 1 d by d. n1 is found to be 4 lambda 1 is 650 nanometer and capital D small d values are also given. So using these we can easily find out the value of x1. So let me substitute n1 is 4 into lambda 1 is 650 nanometer into capital D is 1.2 divided by small d is 2 millimeter. So simplification x1 which is equal to x2 or you can call it as x which comes out to be 2 into 1.2 is 2.4 times 650 into 10 power minus 6 can be written as 0 0.65 into 10 power minus 3. So after simplification this will be 1.56 into 10 power minus 3 meter which is 1.56 millimeter. So this is that minimum distance where the bright fringes due to both the wavelengths coincide and this is the gap of the point P from the center of the screen O. Now let's take up the next question. When a thin sheet of transparent material of thickness 7.2 into 10 power minus 4 centimeter is introduced in the path of one of the interfering beams, the central bright fringe is shifted to a position occupied by sixth bright fringe. If wavelength of light used is 6 into 10 power minus 5 centimeter, find the refractive index of the sheet. Now, students should be aware of this concept that in a YDS experiment when a transparent material of thickness T and refractive index say some N is introduced in front of one of the slits then the entire fringe pattern gets shifted either upwards or downwards depending upon the position of the transparent material and the amount of shift is given by the formula delta x the delta x is d by d into mu minus 1 into t or since d by d can be equated to beta by lambda you can write this expression as delta x is equal to beta by lambda into mu minus 1 into t where mu is the refractive index of the material that if you have inserted and t is its thickness in the given problem what are mentioned is the thickness of the plate which is given by 7.2 into 10 power minus 4 centimeters so it has to be 10 power minus 6 meter in the path of interfering beams 
and the shift is equal to sixth bright fringe so the meaning of the statement is the original the central bright fringe which was originally there is now shifted to a position where which was originally occupied by sixth bright fringe which clearly means that the amount of shift is equal to 6 beta so I can write delta x is equal to 6 beta since the gap between those two mentioned points that is the central bright fringe to a point where there was sixth bright fringe the gap should be 6 beta and the wavelength of the incident light is given to be 6 into 10 power minus 5 centimeter otherwise it is 6 into 10 power minus 7 meter we are supposed to find out the refractive index which is given by the symbol mu okay now in this solution let me make use of uh, the value of delta x let me directly substitute it as 6 beta which is equal to beta by lambda into mu minus 1 into t beta gets cancelled now you will straight away write an expression for mu let me write it as mu minus 1 is equal to 6 lambda divided by t or mu is equal to 6 lambda divided by t plus 1 this is mu is equal to 6 into wavelength of light is 6 into 10 power minus 7 divided by the thickness is 7.2 into 10 power minus 6 plus 1 so I have uh, 36 in numerator 36 into 10 power minus 7 divided by I can write this as 72 into 10 power minus 7 as simple as that plus 1 this gets cancelled by 2 times so this has to be half here which means this is 0 0.5 plus 1 refractive index of the material is 1.5